I'll get to the point where probably most of us uh, got to know you to the European Disc Golf Championship 2021, right? Uh, in Co- at Konopiště last year. Uh, was process of getting into the championship uh, difficult for you? Or was the, like the spot, let's say, secured? No, it was not secure at all, actually. <clears throat> uh, I think this European championships got postponed one year. Mm-hmm. Um, and I didn't have a spot for uh, the year before. Um, but I think I managed to play well enough during the year. So I got, um, uh, like, I had a reserve spot for the year before. But then during um, the off season, I got contacted by the our head coach, the mm-hmm. guy fixed the team and he basically gave me a main spot or something uh, mm-hmm. but it was not actually there were there are a lot of players who were rated higher than me at that point but i think he sort of had seen my progression um, mm-hmm. and also my highs are very high but my lows were very low so but okay. <laughs> I, i i sort of excel in like longer courses um, mm-hmm. so the course suited me well and also um i think i had like potential to really play play really well but mm-hmm. it was a risk from the coach but yeah it paid out what was your mindset going into the championship i don't know like i actually can't remember um i had a pretty bad uh, showing like the week before or the or two weeks before i mm-hmm. played so bad and i just couldn't uh get my game together so I, i just practiced like a lot the week the week before just not embarrass myself basically um and um so i don't think i had any, expe- any expectations i just loved the course when i came there i got new expectations because i saw that the course suited me like really well mm-hmm. for me the whole holes weren't as difficult as i thought they would be um because I, I sort of had the shots for, I had a shot for every hole that I felt comfortable with. Um, also just, I, I had like a cheat code. I had like this super flippy D line FD disc that I just <laughs> highly flip on like, I don't know, maybe like five of 18 holes or something mm-hmm. on holes where other people maybe struggled because it was like slopey and uh, OB and stuff. Mm-hmm. I, I used my cheat code and uh, just highs a flip and rolled up. Uh, you can see it sometimes, uh, like in some <laughs> shots of the coverage, I guess. So that, so I never felt like uh, I didn't have a, a hole on that course that I was scared of, and that helped a lot. So yeah. Mm-hmm. But before the tournament, I I just wanted to survive, to survive and don't embarrass myself, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> it was a surprise during round one. Uh, I was. <laughs> I was record I was trying to record like the best players, the best finishes, and I was doing interviews with the guys at minus 10. And I didn't check you this because it was going it was getting light. And I saw you. <laughs> and the only <laughs> clip I got of you was on the whole 18. And that was yeah. a great path to secure like the minus 12. Uh, yeah. I looked it up. It was your highest rated round ever at 1063. So <laughs> yeah. that was definitely the way the, to start the tournament. And the best thing about it was that you still managed to like uh, stay on the lead card for the third round like right you played yeah. sec- how was how was the second round because yeah you, you 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 had to had some nerves on the first hole yeah yeah i had crazy nerves on the first hole and the first hole is actually one of the most scary holes on the course even though like the worst you can get is like a bogey or something it's still like very it's very uh, demanding you just need mm-hmm. to hit the angle just right and it's like a crazy downhill as well i didn't think it was that much downhill so i think maybe i i think all four rounds i just threw in, into the forest to the right uh, <laughs> i overcompensated no actually i one was to the left but other three to the right <laughs> but uh yeah crazy nerves um it took me actually until the uh, whole um like four or something Mm-hmm. um sorry one two three yeah hole four like uh, it's uh the long one uphill to the right uh and um i I, did, i remember very that was one of my most memorable moments of the tournament for me uh was i got like outside the circle um i was putting before everyone else and uh, i had like a complete death putt it's just like 
the cliff behind mm -hmm. the and it's OB down there. But I just felt like I needed something. So I just, okay, well, commit, just go for it. And I think I made like a 12 meter putt or something. Uh, and everybody else in the car just like missed one or two, maybe three times or something. So I got like two strokes on maybe everyone. Um, and that called my nerves. And after that, I didn't feel any nerves like for the rest of the tournament. So it was crazy. Uh -huh. <laughs> that's great <laughs> that's yeah. what you need sometimes right to yeah definitely to yeah. keep it going <laughs> yeah and even after round three you were uh, one one back of first place sitting at fourth and uh how was your last round because i know of hole 17 uh yeah how was oh the round God. till that point so round uh so the last round you said oh yeah yeah Actually, the last round wasn't that good. It was. It was mostly pars. Yeah, mostly pars. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I actually, I thought I was playing worse than I did, and I probably actually should have checked because uh, I don't know. I'm. I don't usually check scores or anything unless it really goes like I don't feel like it's like it goes. When it goes bad, I like to check because I I like to set new goals um so that i get motivated like for the last part i should have checked this course actually because i was playing better than i thought um i played decent but yeah uh, i screwed up on the last like three four holes and on 17 what well, was it really the nerves to get to do you do you uh double putt it or triple putt it on the on 17 no uh it was not like that i My play on hole 17 was um, I threw my cheat code, the Flippy <laughs> D-Line FD. Um, actually, like the round before, I actually outdrived Simon um, when he threw his uh, uh, DD3 like pretty far. And uh, but my disc sort of reacts weird when it hits the ground. It just goes and flips over. So it had worked really well for me. But this time I didn't commit and I rolled. Uh, I threw the roller and it went OB. Mm -hmm. uh, but I knew that I could still like get, uh, I don't know, seventh or something like that. Uh, so I decided to just, yeah, just give it a push. Uh, so I actually roll, try to roll again on the second shot. Mm -hmm. And but on the second shot, I forgot to say to the gallery to move because uh, there were like a couple of guys sitting just uh, at the OB line. Mm -hmm. So I threw the shot. It was actually really good, but it landed just just OB before it was turning uh, in safe uh, mm -hmm. up to the wars the basket. But I hit those two guys, and it was completely my fault. But I shouted for, I hit them. It stayed OB, and I basically had to throw from where I threw my second shot. So yeah, so and from there on, I just played safe up, and I think I took a triple bogey or something. Mm -hmm. uh, that was really, really rough. Like probably one of the roughest holes in my <laughs> career. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Especially on the big stage, right? Yeah. Yeah. But overall, you you gotta rate the the experience on the EDGC probably in the on the positive side, right? Yeah, totally. Uh, I I I live uh, like I stayed there with my friend uh, Max Legitnik, uh, Max Regitnik. Um, and uh, we, I, I think we ended up on the same place, but he like climbed all the way and I fell to 13th and he climbed to 13th, but uh, we talked about it and it's like, my journey was, my 13th place was like, of course, his was also awesome, but I'd rather have like a good start uh, than a good mm -hmm. ending. Yeah. No, I don't know if I'm, no, I'm not sure if that's correct, but yeah, it was memorable, of course. I wouldn't take the other... <laughs> I, I wouldn't take that way around. 